Congressman Steve Stivers earned a bachelor's degree from The Ohio State University in 1989 and his MBA from Fisher College of Business in 1996. In 2010, he ran for U.S. Congress and was elected as Ohio's 15th district representative. Well, I wanted to thank you so much, Congressman Stivers, for coming here and being a part of Fisher's Alumni video series. Uh, you are here for the second time in, the, in one week, and we appreciate your time. Could you share with us sort of like a meaningful memory from your experience at Fisher that maybe students today can relate to? Sure, Allie, thanks. And it's my pleasure to be here and my honor to be in the uh, Fisher College video series. Well, I was just thinking about that uh, coming down here, and you know, the thing I remember um, most vividly is a lot of the team um, building and, and team exercise. We used to do the uh, Harvard business cases. I assume they still do those, mm -hmm. and uh, we did them as a team. And um, you know, some of the most effective teams I've ever been on were here getting my MBA at, at the mm -hmm. Fisher uh, College because. Frankly, um, everybody was on, that was on that team wanted to be on the team. They all pulled their weight. And we've all been on teams where 20% of the people do 80% of the work. Mm -hmm. And we had a, a real great distribution of work and just came out with some great products that I'm still proud of today. So um, it really teaches you to work as a team in an environment to get along with people. And you have to come to consensus. There's some storming, norming, and forming that goes on as you build build the groups and try to get things done, and those are lessons you can take with you for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch gears a little yeah. bit. Can you talk a little bit about some important life lessons that you've gained, um, not only from your Fisher experience, but how that's kind of carried through your current job? The best life lesson I ever learned, I started as a Boy Scout when I was 11 years old and became an Eagle Scout, and you know, the motto is be prepared, and I think that's a great motto for life, mm -hmm. and it's a great motto for your education, and it's something I've carried over and tried to always be prepared and you know be in the moment so when you're somewhere be there be focused on it i've got a 19 month old daughter and when i'm at home with my family i want to be there and enjoy that time with my wife and daughter if you could kind of step back and look back at your experience here at fisher is there anything you would do over again anything you wish you could repeat i'm sure there uh there are lots of things i would <laughs> uh do most of the things i'd do over again were just because they were so fun mm -hmm. and i'd I have fun wherever, the, wherever I am, so, um, you know, I wouldn't mind doing freshman year over again, but um, it's, uh, you know, there are a lot of great experiences that you can have um, in the Fisher College or just at The Ohio State University and, um, you know, try to make the most of them because there's incredible resources here mm -hmm. and you can really make lifelong friends here. A lot, of, a lot of the friends that I made here at the Fisher School, I'm still in mm -hmm. contact with today. As you also probably know, Les Wexner recently made a generous donation to the university, and he said, but for Ohio State, he would not be where he is today. Could you finish the, the same sentence, but for Ohio State? I'd have to say, but for Ohio State, Columbus would be a cow town. I mean, without Ohio State, this whole community wouldn't be where it is today. So, you know, clearly I wouldn't be where I am today, but this whole community would be, um, would be very different. 5,000 new freshmen every year, uh, many of whom, like me, I came from a little town, Ripley, Ohio, mm -hmm. I stayed in Columbus. And I certainly know I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for Ohio State.